Her mouth is bound. She has tears streaming down her face. And uh, you actually look and you see her hands are also bound. I just push the gate open and or all the way open and head on in. You enter the Alcadema Sigis. Now you will see. Now you will know what I am to become. You will leave me. And this place. Stood in the center of the bodies is a man reading from a book <coughs> that appears to be bound with flesh. Pollux, you recognize this man as Hieronymus. I knew if I did not find or bind my soul to a body, I would be lost forever. So I chose you. I don't need you anymore. So I will be taking control of this body and removing you from it. You would soak the world in all that is unnatural. And though my will may be weak, it is set and only death will break it. For the past hour, you have watched as he lay on, his, on the ground in some sort of fever dream, contorting in horrible cries of pain. But this stopped a moment ago, and Hieronymus opens his eyes. Welcome back, everyone, to chapter 25 of A Cast of Players. We left off last time after a very, very interesting turn of events. Mm. Pollux and Hieronymus finally faced each other in their trial. There could be only one. I'm just going to go back a moment and describe exactly the setting that we all find ourselves in. The rest of you awoke after the explosion in a dark wood. The trees are bare of any leaves and a dim green light filters through the canopy. You all awoke except for Pollux. For the past hour, you have watched as he lay there on his side in some sort of fever dream, contorting in horrible cries of pain. But then this stopped. Hieronymus opened his eyes. 
Although what you see at the moment is Pollux. What do you do? Yeah, I move over to him immediately and take a knee by him. Pollux, what happened? I tried to stop him. I tried. But his will was too weak. I slowly stand, like back away from him. What do you mean? I am sorry. I turn to the rest of you. <coughs> He's gone now. What do you mean, gone? I'm reaching for my sword at this point. I wouldn't if I were you. Remember the task ahead of us. But this is where Pollux's journey ended. Hieronymus. Yes. I look around. This must be what the trial wanted. What happened? I turn to you again. We were fighting in, in the chambers and then here. We were taken to the ether. We needed to settle things privately. He tried to stop me. He couldn't. Trust me, it hurt me to do so, but he couldn't stop me. I find that hard to believe, that it hurt you. Disbelieve all you want. I will. But he was special, and it hurt me. <laughs> but as I say to you now, we are all in this, even me. We must all complete this task, no. <laughs> Are you sat down on the floor at this point? I think by now I'm stood up. Okay, um, I'm gonna push you to the floor. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put my foot on your chest. As you do that, yeah. I let you do that, I'm just kind of like, just, I'm not really giving you much expression or anything like that. And I just said to you, do not forget, if I die, <laughs> you all die. I'm here to help you get out of here. And when we do... When we do... We will discuss this properly. Until then, and I reach down and I take Pollux's sort of satchels and his pipe. This is not for you. We'll see later. Take it from me if you want. You seem to be good at taking things. And get back up. Don't waste your breath. I'm here to help you. Like you've helped what? Pollux. I did. And you have no idea. Once we are finished, then we can do whatever we want. Oh, I intend to. But for now, we must go get out of this alive, no? I will help you. I only want to preserve life. I look at everyone else around. I look at you, Hakote. Now, if ever there was a time to not believe someone, it is that time. Preserve life. I do not believe his words. You did not believe any of mine or Pollux's words in the very beginning, so why should I be surprised or even care? I know what I mean and I know what I say. Believe me if you want or not. We still need to complete the trials. And that is the unfortunate truth. It is. Oh shit, our trials. I spit on these trials. Spit on them all I you want. I spit on you, I spit on this temple. When this is done, when I am done with Chai Lang, I will flay the skin from your bones. 
I will peel your nails from your finger beds. I will scalp you and I will leave you hanging for the crows. Yeah. And I will watch as your life that you are so adamant to keep bleeds out into the snows of my homeland. You will be more than welcome to try, my friend. Please. I'm sure I will not be alone in such a venture. No, you will not. I do not like you, nor do I trust you. But if there is one thing that an animal such as this needs, it is survival. It will do everything it can to survive. And it knows that we must complete these trials. And I look at all of you, we must. Otherwise, everything we have done has been for nothing. You are wise. <laughs> Shut up, I say to you. Perhaps it has always been for nothing. I do not believe that. I know that you perhaps do. But Bahano would not let us be here for no reason. That is my faith. I gesture at him. Where was Bohana to stop him? We you, were there, not her. As you utter that, Jericho's gonna walk towards you. Mm -hmm. He's gonna hold out, he sort of stands directly in front of you and regards you up and down. He puts his hand on your forehead and closes his eye. As a paladin, I have divine sense. And I can, I, I, I know the difference between good and evil mm. as, if it, as if I can smell it. <laughs> what do I feel? Well, you very much have the sense of someone who is, at this point, moment, he is not exactly for you, but he's not exactly against you. It's not, you get this, this kind of grayish sense of, it's not simple, pure evil, but it is someone who is very much, and almost without regard for others, looking out for himself. But as he has said, that also means helping you guys out. He is, you get the sense of someone, he, it is like a, like a lone wolf, does whatever it possibly can to survive. You do get the sense, this, this slight, you do, do get the sense of death and an ever so slight tinge of chaos. Yeah. And anger, I would say actually as well. And hurt. I push you away and turn to these two. The trial is complete. We tread a path of light. Bohana has guided us to this point. My trial is complete. Alex's trial is complete. Well, that doesn't mean that he'd be here with us afterwards. I don't know if the taint of the Demriag is on this one. It is not Boana. There is a dim light in him. It is dim. We've trod this path in the face of diversity, and now we must do it with him. I do not want to. We've come this far. We have to keep going. The other option is that we rot in this forest. We will not be serving Baharna doing that. It would be slaying evil. But at what cost? Is not the greater threat here, the temple itself? Is that not why we have done these trials in the first place? 
on the chance that maybe Chai Lang is right. The slimmest of chances. But a chance, all the same. I will miss Pollux. However, if we are all being honest with ourselves, and I say this with the deepest respect, he was no warrior. If we are to complete this trial, strength is what we need. And although it breaks my heart to say so, Eronimus is stronger. Stronger than someone who is not, as you say, a warrior, does not make them strong. Acting in the shadows behind his minions, abducting people in the dead of night so that he can draw out their souls. This is no warrior, this is a madman. I never said warrior, I said stronger. Even that is debatable. I'm not sure. One wrong move from this. I hesitate to even call you a man. It is no man. And this trial, these temples be damned. A passion serves you well. It will serve me well when I am carving you to pieces. When this trial is done. I just walk off into the woods. You are all very wise. Yeah, <clears throat> Mumbabi has just been sitting there silently. He just kind of picks up his spear and he goes to follow you. I look to Jerrica. Faith is hard pressed and hard fought for in our Kadon these days. Bahana must rely on people such as you and I and Sahid. We will deal with that animal once these trials are through. But for now, we must lead the others. The trials must be completed. Come on, and you. You will be wise to keep your tongue still. So, you all decide to move on. What I will say is, over the time that you were asleep and you were waiting for him to wake, you essentially all get the benefits of a full rest. Okay. Uh, do I as well? Yes. Okay. Yes, you do. You get nothing. <laughs> you get nothing, Hieronymus. No, you get a full rest get because nothing. you are a fresh body. <laughs> oh. Wow. Yeah. So. Okay. Very good. We just, just the Pollux is dead. I am very anxious. Yes. He is. Well, but, that I mean, is pretty savage. As far Ooh. as you guys can tell, there are only two trials remaining. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't recognize this forest. <laughs> no. Do you? Do you? Oh, do oh. you? Oh, oh do, do you? <laughs> well, you do, and there's two trials left. But do I? But well, we might be in the temple that's, now. That's, what that's I mean. the thing, it flings yeah. us. Yeah, 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 it flings us in. It does what it wants. Yeah. Yes. I will tear that place down brick by brick. We'll see. I have a lot of names on my list right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ben. <laughs> <laughs> He's number one. Ben. <laughs> ben. <laughs> okay, so you continue to walk on. A bitter chill fills the air and a gust of wind blows through the leafless wood. The branches creak as they sway in the wind. The grey light that filtered through the canopy is now disappearing. It will be nighttime soon. You see no paths in any direction, just endless trees. The soil under your feet looks and feels like ash. And other than the wind, you hear no sound. If anyone would like to do anything at this time, they may. I imagine there's quite a silent, steely atmosphere given mm -hmm. everything that's transpired. 
So as you're walking on, Sahid falls into step beside you, Hieronymus. Uh-huh. So, Hieronymus. What is it you will offer us? Bollocks had a kind heart. He offered purity in the darkness. What are your talents? I would know who I'm going into battle with. That is wise. You are also wise. All his talents live in me as well. But he is no more. No. But everything that he would be able to do for you, both in battle and anywhere else, I can do for you too. I see. Well... Please, don't mistake me for someone who has not known hurt and pain. I do not, Hieronymus. It is written all over your face. I do not shy away from it and I am not ashamed. What did you hope to achieve from that ritual? My old body was frail, brittle. It was dying. I couldn't stand it. Why would the gods let such a thing happen to someone who has already suffered so much? All I wished to, to do was carry on so that I may find a way to preserve life. I did what I could, and I did what I felt I needed to. Hmm. A choice. He kind of flings a shot at... I'm, I'm paces ahead of you. I'm not hearing this conversation, like, at all. Yeah, no, you're all moving together as a Oh, in which case, then, yeah, I, I actually pick up... As you're saying about preserving life, I just... And trying to basically cheat death, I'm, I just walk ahead. Sure, okay. You won't catch me if I don't want you to. Sure. And then he, he, he flings that shot at you, then. I look back at him. I seem to recall telling you to keep your tongue still. I will have no issue removing it. You'll still be alive. You would not deny me the, the simple courtesy of ask, answering a question? You denied a man the ability to hold his own body. I think it would be wise to not talk Denial. Hmm? Hokote, I do not like this situation either, but you must hear me when I say if we are divided, <coughs> the temple has already won. What I am trying to do now is bind together what we have left. For if we do not walk as one, we will fall. Every trial has been won together. You call that a win? We are all still alive. You are not um, wrong. You must forgive me, brother. I, I am as angry as Rin. But I do see that the path must be walked. Forgive me. I too am angry at this place, at you, at myself, all of it. But I will not be beaten. I must return to Selim. You will play your part. And I would suggest 
that you let him do so. Whether you like it or not, you don't have to be brothers in arms, but you do have to work together. That means he can talk. He has free will. I promise you this, if he steps out of line, I'll take his will away. And he can prove himself. It's very, very simple. He must, this is true. But you have to allow him the opportunity to do so. I will say no more on the matter. I think that would be wise. I think we should all keep very, very quiet now. We want to complete all these trials, then let us shut up and keep moving. <sighs> yeah, I nod at Hieronymus, and I nod at Sahid. I return your nod as well. I'm with. You head on. It's now nightfall. Mumbabi lights a torch, and as he does so, a light snow begins to fall around you. But much like the soil, it too is made of ash. The smell of sulfur hits your nostrils, and the temperature continues to drop. The desert dwellers, Mumbabi, is a plains dwell about they're, they're, they're used to the heat you see them all start to visibly shake you would too Hieronymus mm. it's it's bitterly cold for you Rin this is a, a, a chill that has a familiar feel to it oh <laughs> oh <laughs> well okay then <laughs> it is now getting late it would probably be uh, advisable unless you want to march on through the night to make some sort of camp but of course, that is up to you. You all have free will. Mm. And we just had a long rest. Uh, you, you, you did, but you have also been traveling for the day, yeah, essentially yeah. now. But you can keep going. Yeah, I just turn and look to the rest of you. If we are in this together, what will the group decide to do? A rest may be wise. We have been traveling for most of the day, and our eyes are not as good as yours in the dark. No, this is true. And marching through whatever this is would be unwise. I take it you do not recognize this place then, Rin. I do not. It feels familiar, but it is not at the same time. As I'm sure the rest of you can attest to. But... <sighs> Maybe. Probably closer to mine than to yours, let us put it that way. The snows rarely touch the plains, if ever. No. In fact, only my father told me of the snows once. I had never seen it before. Well, Anything in this place. I, I hold my hand out and it's, it's ash, isn't it? Yeah. You have not seen snow yet, my friend, but I imagine very soon. Set it's a camp. cold though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We will set a camp, then let the blizzard wear itself out and see where this place takes us. Very good. Yeah, I start making camp. Very good. So you do, sir. Um, and it starts to snow heavier. And the wind gets cooler. Um, you are able to start a fire. Um, unless any of you have anything to say at this time, we'll go into watches and you can eat and rest. I will do one thing. Sure. I will, um, <laughs> I will I'm going to approach you in. Whoa, so. whoa. <laughs> All right, okay. I, I'm just sort of sat cross. I'm actually a bit away from the camp yeah. at this point. Um, I'm sort of a bit further away from the fire, so I'm just sort of sat on a, is there like a log or something? Sure. Yeah, so there's sure. like, yeah, like a log. Yeah, I'm you, just, you create that. I'm yeah, just sort right. of sat on a log. Um, my eyes are actually closed. Mm. I 
come up to, I, I maintain my distances a couple of meters away. Sure. And I call out to you, Rin. Yeah, I don't respond. May I ask you this one courtesy? Satchel. If I am to help you, there are things in there I need. Please, this once. Let me prove to you how useful I can be. What do you need? Everything except for a sketchbook. You can keep that. Consider it a gift from Pollux himself. At this point, I've moved over <laughs> in between the two of you. Not directly in line of sight, but I'm there and I've taken a knee. But I'm ready. And I'm skinning yeah. like a rabbit. Okay. <laughs> Just because like yeah. making it look like I'm having yeah. preparing yeah, food, yeah, but sure. I'm not really doing that. Yeah, 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 that's cool. just the action that Hakote is taking. Please. I understand this is very hard for you. But all I ask is the contents of the satchel. I sort of unhook it from my belt and I put it down on the log next to me. Cool. I take it. I grab your wrist. Mm -hmm. I will be expecting those back when we are done. They do not belong to you. They belong to Pollux. And I have a very, very long journey ahead of me. I will have to go to his valley, you see. Return what is rightfully his to his land. So I will be having these back. And I let go. Yeah, I said him, you are honorable. Here, I pass you the sketchbook. Do you look in it or? Uh, I'm not going to look in it. Okay, right. No, I, I sort of, I take it and I sort of put it into a pouch. Okay. Quite sort of like. Yeah. We're in. <clears throat> Thank you. And I walk away. Do not thank as you, me just yet. As you walk away and you turn around, <laughs> Jericho is immediately behind you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he looks down at you. That's your chance. You can prove yourself with that. This is your one chance. I would ask nothing more. You go to sit down. I too go to sit down. I, I spin on the log to sort of face away from the camp. Mm -hmm. My shoulders lower. There's a breath out. And then I go back over to the fire, continue preparing the food. As you do that, you, you hear a boom next to you, and Mumbabi is sat there. Right. Not a cave troll then. <laughs> like, <laughs> close. <laughs> He's as big as one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> kind of looks at you. I want to go home. I would expect that we all do. There is nothing more then that I would love then to go back to the plains of my people now, but you understand we must see this through. Yes. I do not like to talk. It is why the vow of silence for my father was easy. <laughs> but him him. It cannot be. I know. I will watch that one. You understand. I you do. will watch that one. I'm going to slap you on the chest. And yourself. I am still here for now. Good night. Okote. Peace be with you, Mumbabi. Mm. And you.
Anyone else have anything to say at this time? Very good. What I'm going to do, um, because of the epic roleplay that has happened, uh, sometimes dungeon masters can award rewards to their parties. So uh, all of you, for your first round of attack in whatever combat that you fall into next, will have that at advantage. Oh, that's nice. Yes, because nice. what has just transpired for me as someone who has written this tale and has seen it through has been so epic that I need to lie down. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling we all do. Yes, yes, very, very cool stuff. The rest of, so just, just remember that for yourselves. Okay. We'll make a little note for yourself. Well done. The watches happen. Everything that happens in the night is pretty much nothing. You sleep. You rest, you're already kind of at full health, but you rest now all the same. You awake to the dim grey light of morning. The snow is still falling lightly around you, spurred on by chilled wind that cuts you to the bone. From the edge of the camp, you hear a sound. You see a deer facing you, side on, grazing on some roots beneath a fine layer of ash. She stops and looks at you. When she does, you see that she is split down the middle. One half of her body looks like a healthy deer. The other half is a skeleton mm. with rotting flesh hanging from its bones. She regards you for a moment then turns to leave. She trots on a bit, and then she stops and looks over her shoulder, almost if she is beckoning you to follow her. Then she continues on. Do we all see this? Yes. yes. What do you do? I look at Rin. The temple has set us out the path, it seems. But, you would be a fool to trust it. I sort of unhook my bow and knock an arrow. Yeah, I gather my pack, draw my weapons and start to follow. The next trail begins, it seems. The deer always stays ahead of you. She doesn't look back at you. She just trots ahead, weaving between the trees. If anyone would like to do anything, now is the time. I'm just gonna mm. track her through the trees. Very good. <coughs> Suddenly, <coughs> Deer's pace quickens. And if you're going to keep up with her, you'll have to break into a run. I'm assuming everyone yeah. does that. Start to move quickly. Very yeah. good. Up ahead, you see the deer runs into a clearing. A low fog blankets the ground. You realize that the snow has actually stopped falling and the wind has died down. Standing in the clearing, you see statues. They are of warriors with long hair and beards. Their poses look as though they are locked in combat with swords drawn upon each other. It is as if they have been frozen in time. The deer stands on the other side of the clearing. She looks back at you as if beckoning to follow. I assume you are on point, being the fastest? Yeah. yeah. We continue to follow the deer, but Eyes on the statues. You recognize them? <laughs> we do not carve stone edifices of our warriors. Mm. I will take the left. Because I assume that we've got this clearing up here. Yeah. We can sort of circle around the... Uh, well, the, you, the clearing is kind of, it's quite, it's quite vast. Oh, okay, right, yeah. right, okay. Well, can we go around the outside of the statues rather than through, because they're facing each other, is that right? Yeah, so it, it looks like a scene of battle, essentially. 
It's, it's just two statues, right? No, no, there's a few of them. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it, it almost looks like... I don't want to go in between them. It's... Yeah, I mean, you don't have to go in between them while yeah, they're fighting, yeah, but yeah. you can move around yeah, them. Yeah, just okay. move around very the statues. Good. Very good. Thank yeah. you very much. That's okay. Very good. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Can you make a move silently check, please? Stealthy boy. Yeah. All this? Oh, uh, well, I get some good bonuses, I think. Okay. Uh, 20. 20? 20. Yep. Oh, I rolled a 20. Oh. Nice. 17. 17. Okay. Say, I am useful. Five. <laughs> what? A five. He walks into a statue. Yeah. <laughs> he, what, he, 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 fro he looks around for a bathroom stall. Yeah. So you're, you're kind of moving quite <clears throat> quietly. And then you hear Jericho just go clonk. As you, st you went to step on this log that you thought wasn't rotten and you just completely go through it. Nice. Nice. At that, you hear a... And you look over. And you see one of the statue's heads just goes. No. And looks, well, he's actually, he looks directly at you. Jericho's like. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Another statue. <laughs> Suddenly they all start to kind of move again and they start to continue whatever battle that was happening was they kind of strike uh -huh. out at each other for a moment <laughs> and then they as they kind of that sort of momentum stops and they all kind of stood there for a moment and they're looking at each other as if they don't quite understand what's happening and then as one they turn to you one of them points a sword at you. And we'll be right back oh, no. with initiatives. Right. As these statues stop fighting each other and realize the true enemy is circumnavigating them, or trying to, they decide to turn on you. Hakote, since it's your fault that this, uh, not Hakote, forgive me, Jericho. <laughs> this is my fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jericho, oh, since it's your fault that this is happening, would you like to roll for your initiative first? Maybe roll higher than a five. I promise nothing. <laughs> so 16. Oh! That's very good. Well yeah. done. You were okay. you, that's fit, that's why you failed. You were just ready for a fight. Yeah. Like, yeah. All yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. proud of you. I, I'm I'm full well. of full of questions and and I'm very emotional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hieronymus. I ride a five. Ah, there we go. Okay, <laughs> Tay. Uh, nine plus four, so thirteen. Guys, thirteen. Okay? <laughs> Red. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, seven plus seven, plus seven is my little puppy. A fourteen. Okay, very good. This guy's not what we thought he would be. <laughs> and I roll a twelve. Ooh. Okay, very cool. So uh, it will go as follows: Jericho, followed by Rin, followed by Hakote, followed by the Statues of Doom, and then it will go Hieronymus. So, Jericho. What do you do? I'm going first. Yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a giant thing on the table. We have failed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think that yeah, should have ever happened. Yeah, a giant thing from the table. Oh, yes. We, I we... don't want to fight that as well. Yes, no, this, we shall not be rude. Right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I've not gone first in ages. I don't know what to do anymore. Um, <laughs> okay. So you're facing warriors made of stone. How big are they? They're big. They're about the same size as us? Yeah. Big boys. Yeah. yeah. Big, big, big old chonkers. Right, so what I'm going to do is I am going to move myself forwards and lead the charm. Oh! I'm going to make my way towards this guy over here. And getting up close, I draw my sword. Yes. I put my shield out in front of me. Uh huh. As my bonus action, I will put Hunter's Mark onto this statue. Wait. Oh yes! I've got Hunter's Mark as well! No! I've not used it for ages. <laughs> what? Yeah, Since man. Since when do you have Hunter's Mark? The Vengeance Paladin. He is I hunting for his quarry. I will have my vengeance. This one's, this one's for Pollux. No offense. 
You're, 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 you're still Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will put my hunter's mark onto this guy in front of over here. I'll draw my sword and plunge it into the stone? Yeah. We'll see how this goes. All right. Now, uh, sorry. Go on. Weren't we rolling at advantage in our first turns? You were. Oh, yes. You were. See? Yes. Already, already coming in handy. Because <laughs> you were such a luck. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the chance and you just. All right. Well, that one was a one, but I did roll. So uh, my, my one that did hit was that was a, a 16. Okay. That is, unfortunately, you're, you're, you just go king okay. and you bounce off it okay. as your blade <laughs> hits stone. Okay, very good. But uh, you do have, you've do you got a hunter's mark, very good. Mm. Rin, it is now up to you. All right, uh, so the one on the flank here, this one, um, I um, I put my hunter's mark on him. Oh! oh! I'm gonna loose off my shots and then... Can you double hunter's mark somewhere? Um It's, it, so hunter's mark applies to the caster. So I can't put hunter's mark on him and then everyone gets like multiple d6 extra yeah, damage. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, because otherwise you'd just be like, I cast hunter's mark, everyone attack this one yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 and yeah, then yeah. we'll move it. Yeah, it's yeah. only it's only for the caster. Um, so my first attack, uh, 10 plus six. 16. 16. Nice. Not. My gloom stalker attack. Uh, oh, because we don't get advantage on that one, do we? Oh uh, yeah, that's your first round of combat. You, you did a good job. Uh, 16 plus 6 then. That's a hit. Hey! So. And this is going on... This, this is on this guy on the flank. Okay, very good. So, uh, with my d8, because this is my Gloomstalker attack as well. Oh! Uh, ooh! Oh. 5 plus 5 plus 5... Plus four. It's 19 points oh. of damage. Oh. 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 Boom! So, uh, I rolled the wrong dice on one of those fives. Forgive me. So ignore one of those fives. It was an eight instead because it's a D8. <laughs> so how much damage have you done? Uh, so I did uh, five plus eight plus five plus four. Right. So that is 22 points of damage. 22 points of damage. Blooming it. Oh. Okay, very good. Boom. So, so this, this this arrow goes out and uh, Jericho sees it out of... What, what, which one's your eye? Which one's your, your eye patch eye? My, my eye patch eye is my right eye. It's your my, right eye. My left eye is a good one. Yeah, so, so you're, you're le like, you don't actually see it until it's already gone past you because it's outside of your peripheral and you just see the arrow sort of glowing white as it impacts the guy on the end here and it just cracks the stone. Um, and then with that, I move off around here to the side. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah. It, 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 with it hits with such a ferocity, literally, this arrow just goes and just passes straight through, and he's got this huge hole in wow. his chest, um, and he just kind of goes, looks down at it, and goes, and starts to move forward. But it is not his turn yet. We now come to Hokote. Lovely. Uh, which is the one that just got smashed with that arrow? This one over here. That one over there, okay. Um, right, I... One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's about right. You have enough movement because you're a yeah. monk. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, I sprint in line uh, and uh, flank Jericho as I see his sword bounces off the stone. Um, by the time I get there, I, the arrow skims over my shoulder and smashes Ooh. into that one of the uh, statues there. I go into a roll, and as I come up, the axe is out, and I embed the axe in the soil. <laughs> Boom! Thunder wave. Hey, so now. Points. Uh, it's going to hit all three of the statues, including Ooh. the one uh, in front of damaged. Jericho, and of course the one that's already damaged. Very good. It obliterates the tree stump as well. And it obliterates that tree stump. It's just right. gone. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In fact, what I probably do is I put the axe in the tree and it just oh. erupts with... Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like lightning <laughs> shrapnel. Yeah, 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 yeah. So look, it goes off automatically. Yes. So, so because I don't have the advantage roll, what I'm guessing is is that you take your DC checks with disadvantage here. No, no, no. Uh, you, but you know, you've not made your attacks yet in the, so in the first get combat. Anyway. Yeah, so you'll get yeah, it you'll still get them anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't. No, no. Okay, uh, so it's 12. <laughs> it's DC 12. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the one who has a hole through his chest fails. Okay. His friend next to him 
passes. His other friend also passes, but the one who was already damaged obviously cannot handle okay. the amount of so damage. We all take damage done. anyway, it's just the two yes, that pass. Right, it is eight damage. Um, so that heavily damaged one has just taken another eight damage. That heavily damaged one is dead. Oh, so oh. it just obliter yeah. shatters? It just shatters into, uh, okay. that, that, was, uh, that was incredible. Well done, both of you. Okay, very <laughs> good. Uh, the other two will take four damage. They're not pushed back because they did pass. Sure. Having said that, I've still arrived, and because I'm right next to Jericho, as his sword clangs off, I then, as a bonus action, jump into the air and do a spinning hook kick or spinning heel kick into the thing's temple uh -huh. to try and crack it open. Okay. Oh, advantage, forgive me. Uh, which will be a 19. That's a hit. Lovely. Okay, D4 plus uh, to two plus four is six points of damage. Six points of damage. And on, this is on- that That's on the one right in front of Jericho. Yep, and this far good. one's been destroyed, shattered yes. to oblivion. That is true. Uh, very good. Okay. So you, you take, uh, yeah, okay. So. It, like it hurts, it hurts your. Yeah. <laughs> you're, just going, you're going to do it, and you go. Ugh. Thank you. But man. but also you, you do. It's almost like you feel a bit of it, like kind of lodge it goes like that. Uh, but it, it had an effect. Yeah, 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 exactly. But it is now their turn to strike. Okay. Uh, so he charges in to Jericho. He comes around into you. And then the one over here charges into Hieronymus. Oh. Uh, so, oh. we will start off with the one on you, Hakote. So you've kind of, this guy's just kind of cut that, he's just kind of come around. So where there's like this like smoking stump there yeah. and through the smoke, suddenly this stone sword just goes oh. and just swipes down at you. Uh, that is a hit. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's a very weird feeling because you've been hit by stone, but it also is sharp at the same time. Right, so it's right. like it's like this bludgeoning, cutting damage that just slashes down upon you. You take a total of ooh, nine wounds Ew. as he smashes big, into well, your I, side. Eight, eight, the one eight. with you, Jericho. So he's kind of uh, he's taken a bit of damage. This guy. Um, but uh, he's kind of like knocked around, but your kind of sword bounced off. So he's been hit by thunder and then he's got this kind of kick in the head and he just kind of, as, as, as he comes back from it, he just puts all of his might in and just swings at you. Um, and uh, he hits. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you take a total of, ah, only four damage. Okay. Yes. Very good. So that is them. And then we have the one over there on Hieronymus. So this hulking creature, stone creature, that starts running towards you. He put, he's, this one's holding a shield. Yes, he is. Uh, holding a shield. So he actually <laughs> shield bashes into you. And as you kind of fly back, he comes over the top and kind of pierces you in midair and you're caught there. You slide off the blade and you die. Here we go. Uh, that would be a hit. You take a total of six damage as what I do happens, as I describe happens. However, I mean, you don't die. Mm. <laughs> You're all right. Okay. okay. That's the three of them done. So we will now come over to you, Hieronymus. Cool. So yes, yeah, so that's what happens. He, he does pierce me through the, with his spear, but he kind of shakes me off. Yeah. And he kind of throws me away. Um, so that's, that's what, how it, looks. Mm -hmm. This is what actually happens in rule. I'm going to back off to here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I will get an attack of, a of opportunity at you. Yeah, go on. Okay, very good. I've rolled a critical hit. Oh, wow. So you take a step back and as you, so you kind of shoot, so you stare and you kind of, you kind of go to the back and he kind of goes, <laughs> strikes you in the face. You take a total of 10 damage oh. as you are struck in the face. But oh. you now will be able to fight back. Yeah. So I go back to roughly where we saw Jericho crack that branch under his foot. Uh -huh. and I see it kind of poking up. Mm -hmm. So yeah, in my, I kind of wince in pain, but also look over and notice the branch poking up from the, from the snow mm -hmm. where Jericho stood. I grab it and I look towards the statue that just beat down on me. My eyes go white. 
the, the kind of ice on the branch melts off. It starts getting super hot. <laughs> Lightning springs out of my hand and kind of <laughs> dances around, hitting each of the tree stumps. <laughs> almost like encircles it. And then finally finds its way <laughs> towards the statue. I'm casting Witch Bolt. Okay, very good. Yeah. Remember, you may do this at advantage. Advantage and heads up. This is a second level. Okay. Oh, because okay. I want to right. hurt this guy. Very good. Whoa, one is a 12, and one is an 18. That's a hit. So, he takes 1d12 lightning damage. Okay. But because this is a second level or higher, the initial damage is increased by 1d12 for each slot above one. So, I'm for my first one, I'm rolling 2d12. Okay, very nice. Uh, is how I read it. Uh, and then after that, until I end the spell, it's 1d12 each time. Fair enough. Three. <laughs> and four. You've done seven, seven damage. damage. Okay, very good. Seven damage. But you are now uh, entwined with him in some sort of electric shock dance. Uh, very good. Uh, that is you done, Hieronymus. We now will come back to you, Jericho. Right. Okay. Quickest of the lot. Yeah. I'm very, very <laughs> speedy. Um, okay, so having the, <laughs> the first strike with my swords bounced off, as we all saw. Yes. Um, as I've taken the hit back, Jericho's taken a step back as well. He holds his blade up, but this time there's there's a, 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 a shimmer to the blade. Uh huh. <clears throat> so as a bonus action, I'm going to enact my uh, my vow of enmity oh, onto up. this statue, and this time it will strike true. So I am able to strike at advantage again because of my vow of enmity. Okay, very good. Uh, apparently the vow wasn't very strong because that's a one and a three. Wow. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> Oh, bitch. That is good. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know what to say. <laughs> I know. There's literally <laughs> nothing that you can say. <laughs> okay, yeah. very good. Well, that's fine. So I'm holding my tongue. Well done. Uh, Rin, it's now on to you. Okay, so uh, seeing what Hieronymus has done here, I kind of look off to the side. I just move over here. <laughs> Back. Uh, I'm gonna pass my hunter's mark over to this guy here that's directly in front of me. Uh huh. Um, as a bonus action, and then sure. loose an arrow into him. It's an 18 plus 6 is that's 24. It. I'm gonna roll the right dice this time. That is a total of uh, 4 plus 3 plus another 4. That is 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Very good. So again, as the, these arrows are just puncturing holes through these uh, chunk is yeah, these stone giants. <laughs> as it breaks off. Um, he's not dead, but um, that, again, there's now a gaping wound inside of him. Very good. What's <coughs> next? Uh, is that, that's that, all that's you can my do? turn. Bonus cool. action move. Action done. Comes to you, Hakote. All right, as I'm covered in um, dust from this stone, which has just suddenly exploded in my face because of the arrow, <laughs> I then reverse the grip on my axe using the hilt, and I reverse the grip on a scythe, and I start pummeling with a flurry of blows into this thing's face, but using the hilts, because I imagine that I wouldn't want to blunt the sharpness sure. of my blades. Sure. Uh, so, we're no longer at advantage, is that correct? Uh, you have not done your attack at advantage yet, I did you? one bonus attack. I don't know how you're counting it. Oh, did you do that at advantage? I did do that at advantage, Then yes. you're no longer at advantage. But it was only a bonus attack. Well, that and you... you said first round of combat. Uh, yeah, yeah. She's now gone. She's now gone. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> All you're doing is this to your own grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I give you a nice present, yes. and then you carry on. Well, it's nice to have an even nicer present. No, <laughs> no, no. You do this now. You roll your dice. You see if you can hit it. Okay. Go on. Right. Uh, he so gets a Lawrence is the kind of kid that at Christmas 20. opens his present and goes, "Is that it?" Plus six, <laughs> Twenty-one. Twenty-one is a hit. See, you, yes. so you were complaining yes. about yes. nothing. I, I know. Oh, I just wanted to, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, and I roll maximum damage. That's six plus four. That's ten points of damage. Okay. Very good. Uh, what are you complaining about? Uh, he's just about? been impacted with that huge and, and arrow. This, and this was on the arrow, guys. Yes. So you've taken ten wounds. Yes. Okay. Very good. So he's still alive, but I, is I, he? Yes. Okay. Twenty. No, but it is actually 18. Well, that's a hit. Yeah, so this is with the pummel of the sign now. 
and that is another six points of damage. He now is dead. Yeah. If so you'd like his, to describe how well, he is destroyed. As I hit with this flurry of blows, <laughs> basically the, the it chip keeps chipping away at the, the um, stone face until there is just this cracked hole. Um, and I punch through the head. The rest of the, the body just crumbles into rock. <laughs> Very, very cool. Uh, if you'd you. like to remove the model? Yes, I shall. Oh, very good. Um, so I didn't spend a key point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a key point? Uh, nice. there. <laughs> I spent a key point. Uh, right, so now we will come back to the statues. So uh, he uh, continues to chase his quarry over here into Hieronymus. Um, we then have, uh, but we'll come back to, no, we'll do that now. So he charges in. Uh, he does hit you, Hieronymus. Mm -hmm. You take a total of uh, only four damage. Um, as, so he kind of chases you. So he's kind of got this electricity and it's kind of like still surging through him. Uh, and he goes to hit you. Now, I believe you need to take a concentration check now. Yep. Oh, right, right, so right. To keep, to keep the keep spell keep... going. Yes. Right, 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 okay. So it'd be DC, uh, it's half the damage or 10, whichever's higher. So 10 in this instance. Yeah. And you do get your plus two to it. He's uh, fine. It's fine. Uh, okay, then the second one who's locked in Mortal Kombat over there with you, Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're both just like, eh. <laughs> he brings down his mighty blade upon your skull. Uh, oof. You've got a hard head, apparently. Just, just <laughs> managed to stop it from happening. Very good. That is them done. So we'll now come to Hieronymus. Oh. So I can, yep, continue the spell. He's taken a he's taken a lot of damage, but he is super concentrating on this on his target. The D12s continue. Now that's a twelve. Oh, hey Ben, that's oh like it. Very his good. His eyes glowing uh, more. That's a great sentence. His eyes are glowing more intensely. <laughs> yeah, and he raises up his hand and and like bits of stone are kind of going off yeah. the statue. Is it no, oh. and, no and, but it is, it is quite badly hurt. Okay. And what colour eyes do you have at the moment? What, what are they glowing with? White. Of the light. The oh. lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So it will now come back to you, Jericho. Okay then! All right! right. So I'm still... <laughs> my vow of enmity is <laughs> still enacted, so I will strike again, feeling like he has finally found a weak point. Uh, <laughs> well, you can't be serious. You don't whiff again. Yeah, whiff again. What, what did, did you roll? roll? Oh, how? Uh, a what? seven was my highest roll. Okay, yeah, unfortunately. Five seven. Yeah. Ka -dum. Right, at this point, I, I shout, Brother, use the pommel! And I, I point to the, the hilts of my weapons. Because I'm assuming that I'm seeing your blade clanging off of this stone, so I, I shout out to you to... <laughs> wow. <laughs> I... <th> <laughs> I, I'm trying to help. I don't want yeah. to hit him with my pommel. <laughs> it sounded there for a second like you were just about to go, Brother, use better dice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Use I mean, that is what I've said. Yeah. It's not how the force works. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Very good. So that is Jericho done. We now come to Rin with his super missile yep. things. Uh, so, with my movement, uh, one, two, three, four. Five and six. Uh, I do have more movement, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, and I fight into the rear of this statue here. Okay. I'm going to move my hunter's mark onto him. Uh, 19. That's it. Lucky duck. It is, however, a total of seven plus three plus four. 14 points of damage. Ooh, another Ooh. hole is rendered through <clears throat> this statue. He is still alive, but he is badly wounded. Okay, very good. What? Uh, so then we would come to... Dun, 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 Hakote! Right. Yes. Um, seeing that this epic melee is still continuing, and I am technically also in combat with him, so... Uh, yeah, I then demonstrates to um, Jericho what I mean. Going in with both the hilts, I leap up and try and straddle this thing on its shoulders and I just pummel into its skull. Here we go, with the axe. Uh, seven plus six, 13. Smith. Okay, we then go in with the sigh. 
No, that is also a miss. Okay, so you are on top of this eagle, like king, 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 and it's kind of just going. You're trying to like thrash you <laughs> yeah. off at the yeah. moment. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just doing like this. You're like. Yeah. That's me. That's you. Yeah. Very good. So it comes now to the statue. So you are now on top of him. Yeah. He, you suddenly feel this hand just grab you. Mm. He throws you off his back, slams you on the ground, and just goes <laughs> and stabs you through the chest. That's not very with his, It's not. No. But not, what, no, he, no, no, he tries to grab you, but he cannot do it. The battle over there continues with Hieronymus. <laughs> Was that? I said, you said, oh, Hieronymus. I was like, oh, why? <laughs> uh, plus, yeah, that is a hit, unfortunately. You take a total of only four damage again. Someone is looking out for you, Hieronymus. Well, oh, his pollocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's. Maybe. Someone's looking out for me in so much, only in so much as that I've got a couple of wounds left. So. Well, yeah, yeah, but there you go. That's nice. Um, is so, it? Is it? Well, we come to you now. <laughs> We come to you now. Yeah, so yeah. you need to do your concentration spell, uh, concentration check first. Uh -huh. Concentrate. Uh, six. Well, what was it? Plus again, sorry. Plus your con. Plus two. It two. fails. So it is no longer happening. And is that my action? No, 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 no. no, no, no. no. That still happens still... before your turn. Okay, okay. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, well, in that case, well, what happens is, is the, 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 the branch kind of burns out. I'm like, Ugh! and then I see the statue kind of raising his thing to strike at me again. And I just, I just, with everything I've got left, I just go, and I I'm going to cast Shocking Grasp. Okay. Yum. And just hope for the best. Good luck. Three. No, 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 no. So uh, the electricity surges through him. It goes, but nothing oh, happens. Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, we now will come back to Jericho. Finish him! Use the pummel, Jericho! No, he still yeah. bash him. He sees you riding the top of him and he says, Sod your pommel! He hits him again. <laughs> we finally hit! Yes, yes there you go! Yes! Is yes. that what else I'm gonna do? Is that with your advantage? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, because I thought you would like you only rolled the one. I was like, roll the other. No, I still only did one hit okay. with two dice, but um, I do finally hit. Yeah. You know what else I'm gonna do? Right. I'm gonna do a divine smite. Oh, yes. my power. So uh, I've got an additional. Sorry, I'm just gonna do an additional two uh, d eight here plus my d six for Hunter's Mark. Yeah. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Da 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 Okay, so we've done in total uh, 10, 17, 21, 27 yeah. points of damage. Ooh! Yeah. He, he is removed from existence. How, do, how, how does it happen? Yeah. Tell me how it happens. So, what he does, he, he sings. Tell me. You, you write your toast <laughs> with your pommels. The, the radiant glow comes into the blade properly this time, and it goes in through what I imagine is the neck between the, 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 the sort of gap between, not much of a gap between the shoulders and the head. It goes in here, it uh, vibrates, and then golden light comes out of the, all of the, the gaps that have appeared through the holes and things like that, and it just crumbles to dust. Oh. Epic. Very well done. And as it crumbles, I turn towards you and regard you two. <clears throat> We have to help him. Aww. Uh, I nod. Don't ah! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I nod and immediately sprint in that direction. Well, hold on. Whose turn is it next? <laughs> well, it's well, yours. Well, well, well. Okay. Remove that model there, Jericho. Remove that model! Actually, <clears throat> no, I retract that. <laughs> he actually says, he's no good to us dead. That seems more mm. appropriate. Mm. Yeah, that won't get an awe out of me. Absolute backtrack, sorry. Yeah. Well, I, <laughs> well we, it's time, time is an interesting thing in the temple anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You saying that I move up to here, I move my hunter's mark to this statue. I'm going to place a ready action to fire a shot into him um, if he knocks Hieronymus unconscious. <laughs> I turn to these two and I say, if he dies, he dies. Oh, wow! Cold. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, uh, it's it now, it's now. My, yeah, it is my now. Turn. I turn to, to you, Jericho, and I nod Ooh. and I sprint at the statue. Um, 
And yeah, I go in with a vicious flurry of blows. The ax chips into its collarbone and then the side pummel on top of the skull, crack, 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 as I use the ax to pull myself up and uh, try and destroy this thing. The first is a 17 plus six, 23. Hit. This is the ax hit. You have taken, sir, five uh, five points of damage. Okay, very good. We, have, we now have the Psy. That is 14 plus six, 20. That's a hit. The pommel of the Psy smashes the thing. Skull, that's another five points of damage. It's dead. I know, that's what, Ooh, that's what I said. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you'd like, so yeah, you just, you pop, you, you just- Yeah, I just, go, imagine go, go, I get the go, ax go, go, and I use go. it to heft myself yeah. up its back and then I'm like, smash, 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 smash yeah, onto so the top of its skull. It's just this skull. crack just slowly yeah. forms down its center and then just kind of goes and just collapses into the ground. Very, very good. Well, we'll be back in just a moment. You are surrounded by chunks, like blocks of, of wood, which have been shattered into pieces. You kind of see one of them almost like, it's like the hand, it kind of, it kind of almost goes to move a bit, but then it, whatever enchantment leaves <coughs> its body. You look across the clearing and you see the deer is still waiting for you on the opposite side. She stamps her hoof impatiently and continues on her way. What do you do? Well, what I will say is uh, just after that uh, battle is, uh, is finished and her coates come down and he see as like he's, the statue has kind of fallen before him and it's revealed Hieronymus on one knee, breathing heavily, bloodied, and he looks up at him, he goes, you might get your wish after all. <laughs> and then he slowly gets to his feet. Um, yeah, I look down at him and I say, my wish will be fulfilled when the trials are complete. You might get it before then. And maybe not even by your hand. I and he regards the, the statues. I grab you by the scruff of your neck and I pull you up. I look at you. There's something murderous in Hakote, Hakote's eyes, mm -hmm. which Hieronymus may not have seen before. Mm -hmm. You will die when I tell you, not before. I fling you back. Now get moving. And I turn and I follow the deer. Mm. Uh, once you're kind of out of earshot, I just kind of start moving, but muttered to myself, ah, so noble is he. Yeah, I'm, I'm still stood there like arm um, tensed, ready to go. I uh, just watch you mm. until you follow. I kind of walk past you and give you a deep nod. Um, I don't say anything, but you kind of take it as a, you know, seeing that you were ready with your thingy, uh, thingy knocked. Uh, in pointing in the direction of where I was fighting, I was just like, cheers, kind of thing. As I pass Jericho, I nod back, referring to the bloody mess that is Hieronymus. <clears throat> you best wipe him off, he's bleeding. <laughs> Hopefully you understood that then. Use your lay on hands, the guy's about to die. <laughs> so, are you approaching? Are you walking? I'm heading in the direction of where we are, like... Where's, yeah, like, yeah, converging, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, Sahid and Umbabi are with you at this point yeah. as well. So as you walk past, <clears throat> I'll sort of catch you by the shoulder with my hand. Mm -hmm. I'll do lay on hands. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> one hit point. <laughs> I hear a big bust. Because this is what I'm unsure about at this point. Mm -hmm. It has no effect on, on the undead. Well, I, I, well, he, I, I, so can, tell you, I can, I can tell you <laughs> yeah. that he's not undead. Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. fine. Well, not I, for lack of trying, though. I, yeah, yeah. Was but, that sure? But, he, but he's not at this point. Okay. So Doesn't I, seem a very good wizard. So, you feel... 
You feel a healing presence within you. Mm. I'm going to give you 10 hit points back. What do you feel when I do that? I feel the light of life kind of making its way through my body. It almost feels like, not unlike a shock, not too dissimilar to the kind of shock that might have been dealt out when I'm <laughs> trying to uh, do shocking grasp. So it does kind of like <clears throat> If you looked hard enough, you might be able to find, see my eyes watering a bit. Mm -hmm. And I take a big deep breath out. You see the, the, the condensation of my breath as it leaves my <clears> mouth. <throat> and I look to you and say, thank you. Don't thank me. Bahana has shown pity. He spits out a tooth on the floor. <laughs> I imagine that's what happened when you got hit by the, uh, the massive statue monster. Yeah. Mm. He sort of gives you a glance, and just turns around and keeps walking. Very good. Yeah, I, I kind of grin a little bit again to myself and continue on. Okay. You cross the clearing. Unless anyone else wants to do anything else, you cross the clearing. The deer, when you get closer, continues on. And this goes on for a while now. Weaving, ducking, weaving. Um, and after a time, however, you do notice the deer begins to slow down. You can hear her breath actually begin to strain. She staggers and falls to one knee, but manages to get up again and continue on. But, well, the good half of her is not looking healthy, suddenly. This carries on for a while. Collapses, gets up, keeps moving, collapses, gets up, keeps moving. Until finally she collapses before a large <coughs> tree with a huge hollow in it. She lies on her side, panting. All of you begin to hear her heartbeat in your ears. From her chest, a pulsating red light can now be seen emanating through her skin. It pulses with the sound of the heartbeat. You then hear a voice come from inside the tree hollow. Feed me. Gosh. What do you do? I approach the, the deer. Uh, what side, because she sort of collapsed on her side, is it the good side or the... The good side, yeah. Yeah. I close her eyes. Mm -hmm. um, I whisper a prayer to Viriana. Um, in my own tongue, not in the common tongue. And I slice her throat. Sure. Instead of stopping, you, you hear the sound of the heartbeat, it becomes more rapid. And the tree trunk said, feed me? So it would seem. It's messed up. Little shop of horrors. So there's this hollow. Yeah, yeah, does it refer to any of us as Seymour at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> Seymour! Uh, no. Okay. I go stand next to you and I go to, to motion to pick up this deer. I plunge my blade into the chest of the deer mm -hmm. and I begin to split her open. 
This place will receive no more than it needs, no more than it deserves, and what it deserves is very little. Very well or not, this is a creature of Viriana. I gesture to where the voice appears to be coming from, not of her. I reach into the, the chest mm -hmm. and pull out the heart. The heart. <coughs> it's it's pull, this this red light is going. I actually do yeah. that. I yeah. take like here now. Mm -hmm. I come out to you. Yeah. I just, I just take your hand. Yeah, yeah, okay. Prove your worth then. Feed it. Just throw it in. As you feed the tree, the hollow starts to open wider. You stare into a black abyss as your bodies are lifted from the ground. The hollow grows wider and wider until the abyss is all that you can see and then you are sucked into it. You tumble through darkness. You hear no sound, you see no light. You feel only the sensation of falling and then all of you land. Thud. You have fallen into a snowdrift. Before you stands a tree, much like the one you were just sucked into. However, this one has brown bark and green leaves. The air around you smells clean and fresh. And while it is cold, the sun is shining. Rin, you recognize the tree as an iron oak, a tree native to your homeland of Niflheim. What do you do? Yeah, I mean, my eyes are just closed. I'm just like, like, however I've landed, like I could be face first in the snow. I just sort of. I stand up. I look at my compatriots. I look at Sahid. Um, he's, he's just. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Niflheim, my friends. Or at least whatever the temple is willing to show us. And for the first time since you've known Rin, the way that he is, or the way that I'm carrying myself, the way that I'm sort of speaking and the smile that's on my face is the first genuine smile that you've seen in all this time. Like, it's not sarcastic, it's not, you know, uh, it's not a joke. Mm. It's, it's, I am, it, despite, oh, the temple is showing us something that is not real. There's a part of me that you see, like, in my eyes that is, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm all on board. Right. Yes. That's good. Yeah. Hieronymus reacts to this by going, <clears throat> feels real, does it not? We will see how real it actually is. But I will concede that it does feel real, but... We could feel a lot of things in this place. Some of us more than others. Until now. You're going to wrap up warm. You're going to need it. And I, I look at Mumbabi as I say this. You. Even you will not be able to withstand the cults of Niflheim. He just goes, I am freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Wrap up warm, keep good pace. You must keep the blood flowing, otherwise you will belong to the land. <laughs> Welcome to my home, my friends. And I, uh, can we, are we kind of like in a sort of a, a clearing like we were? Or you is are it, in, you're surrounded in, by epic music in my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you are, you are effectively, you are in 
It's almost like a mirror of exactly where you were in the yeah. temple, except this place is alive, the other place was dead. Right. Yeah. So it's so that 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 hollow tree is in front, but now that it's like alive and the bark and everything is all around it, yeah. like the hollow is still there, but you, you now recognize what yeah. it was. Yeah, I, so I kind of sort of look out at the the tree lines. We will walk. It does not matter where. The temple will show us a way. Or, if I was a more foolish man, we will find a way. I look at the, the ground for sort of tracks and stuff. That is as good as any. You head off in that direction. And that is where we will leave this <laughs> session. <laughs> Join us next time for chapter 26. Oh my. But until then, you keep being adventurers. We'll see you very soon.